What's up, everybody? Today, I'm checking out a game called Loot River. Uh, just released on Game Pass probably at this point a couple weeks ago. Um, it is currently on Xbox and PC Game Pass. Uh, without further ado, let's just jump into it. This is a roguelike, um, surprisingly. If you've, you know, watching my videos or if you played... Uh... Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Something's... Let's restart that run. <laughs> it's bad. Um... Yeah, if you've uh, used Game Pass or if you're watching my videos, you probably noticed there is a, quite a bit of roguelikes on the service. This is a brand new one. Uh, it's really new to here. Um, it's pretty difficult. I have not had good luck with it. I feel like I need a good guide or something like that to actually be successful. Um, I won't spend too much time walking around here, but this is like kind of your hub before you go on a run. Uh, you, can buy, you visit this in between levels to actually upgrade all this stuff. It uses a resource that you gain in the levels. Um, there's this Ifis lady, and she's got a bunch of different mods, kind of. And I don't know if there's a drawback or like what's exactly the reason for not using these. So I have not been using them in all honesty. Uh, I probably will use them at a certain point whenever I just start hitting a wall of like I cannot make it any further. Um, some of these, you know, make total sense. Enemies drop weapons of higher level, you get that. Some of these have to do with exactly this, the mechanics within this game, but we'll get to that soon enough. Um, but so far I like this a good amount. I uh, do have some issues, but I do think uh, from Indie Studio, it's definitely a pretty impressive title. But yeah, this guy here, you can invest your health potions into, and then he will return with double when you finish your current level. So if I give him three out of my four health potions that you see in the top left there, that will be the uh, D-pad cross looking thing. That's my total health potions. We got four. This first level is not that bad, so I usually just throw all of them at it or leave one for myself. I'm getting pretty good enough at it to actually make my way through it without having to use this one health potion. Let's see. Okay. And this is the main mechanic. You'll kind of main unique thing with this game is that uh, you move around on these pieces of, uh, I don't know, floor? That look like Tetris pieces, obviously. Uh, and you move them around with the right stick. So, you can kind of do stuff like this. Like, you can kind of cheese it a little bit. Okay, I actually made it through there. But you can kind of use this to move in, attack enemies, and not. I haven't found in all honesty what to use these in combat for. Other than, you know, moving in, moving out, like that, kind of like, let's see if I can do it here. Oh, oh, okay. These enemies can just jump across. Uh, some enemies have unique attributes that go for these. So you have a dash. I'll do that dash one more time. You also have a parry. Oh, missed it. We'll try it one more time. Okay. Okay, not parry. I am not good at parry, so we'll have to use a cell potion. And go down here. This guy uh, that I'm talking now, he will throw a uh, little bit orbs. So he's like a ranged enemy. Okay. So you have three different item slots that you'll pick up stuff. So this adds two points to my endurance. I guess I'll uh, show you this real quick too. Here's your stats. Uh, unless you have an upgrade or uh, buy a certain piece of armor, you always start with level 10 in all of these. And you level up as you kill enemies. And uh, you can pick what you upgrade but you also find rings that will help stuff too so with this give me plus two endurance it determines my poise prolongs the time Ooh. spooky thundering uh but yeah this here it just increases my uh, window for a successful parry determines my poise poise is like how easily you can stagger enemies in some cases it doesn't matter if you can stagger him because whenever that i attack that enemy he always uh Farts, I guess. Yeah, you want to say. I will say my main complaints with this so far is uh, overall I don't love the way the combat feels. Now there is quite a bit of weapons in this game, um, so some weapons are going to feel better, some weapons won't. I I will say from the very start, I just feel very weak. Uh, it's definitely very animation heavy. It feels like a Prince of Persia 
old school Prince of Persia game with how animation heavy the combat is. And that's probably the best way I could describe it, honestly, even though those games were 2D. This is uh, more 3D. But yeah, I mainly just dodge. Uh, I'm not too big of a fan of parry, and it never requires me to parry any particular enemies. But yeah, the combat's just a little bit simplistic overall. Um, I feel like I am playing this on a 4K monitor that's like you know, just a couple, maybe two or three feet in front of me. Like, if you're playing this on a big screen, it's probably gonna be hard for you to even see where you're going. That's a, what a another, another common complaint. And that goes to the combat too. Just it's, it's just kind of I don't know what's the word for it. Reminds me of Psychonauts 2 last year, where sure there's probably a way to tackle this combat effectively and you know strategically, but just the way the enemies react, every like the controls, animation priority, like it just doesn't, it just doesn't feel great overall. And uh, also, I would say just some of the UI. I think for the most part, this UI when you're in a run is fine, but I don't like, uh, we'll see some of this later, but all the NPCs you speak to, all the menus, like even this, like look how it feels like this is missing a like polish pass, or I, I don't know if polish pass is the right word for it, but like just the way this looks, it just doesn't look great. The text, font, I don't know, I don't know just kind of puts me off a little bit. But I almost always uh, go with strength. Vitality, obviously your health. Dexterity increases your attack and movement speed. So I got, we'll try this. Probably won't be too successful, but I don't think I'm gonna be successful this run anyways. I've only made it to the first boss. Or I'll say, uh, first I tell, okay, that's an okay one. Uh, but yeah, I got to the first boss. I was got him about half health, and then that's about as much as I did. I just feel like I'm missing something in this game, and I can't figure out what. And I think a lot of it is just the combat. I just can't wrap my head around being effective at it. But I have also heard people say this game is, like, really short. I've heard people, like, haven't had too much of a problem with this game, so this might be a me issue. I will say this game, uh, I would definitely recommend you checking out no matter what. It is, at the very least, pretty unique in the roguelike space. It feels different, even though what you're actually, what's different about it doesn't ultimately matter a ton to uh, what you're ultimately doing, or at least so far, I'll say. I'm sure uh, later levels, these uh, platforms will make more of a difference too. And I'll say uh, it does use like kind of the Dark Souls control scheme. So this is uh, the bumpers I'm using. You can charge and attack here. I've never really used that much either. I'm mainly about just getting in attacking, which maybe I should just be going to endurance if I'm all about dodging and stuff. I've been thinking about this in relation to other roguelikes rather than like a Dark Souls type game where you're building a character up a long run. Oh, he's coming. And uh, some of the items you get that you can equip will drastically change how your runs actually go. Uh, I know I have, uh, I don't like this item a lot, but there's an item that basically when an enemy hits you, there's a, I forget how much of a chance, 10 to 20% chance that you will get all your health back. But also anytime you attack anyone, you lose one health. So that eventually does add up. You can see some of these enemies just do like six damage to me so far. So it does add up ultimately, but I didn't get the reward of getting all my health back nearly enough as I felt like I should have. So this is a really good one. So you see here, one of the upgrades I have, which is one of my favorites, is my first attack in a chain. Uh, yeah, we'll show you that other weapon too. Uh, will teleport me behind the enemy. And we'll show that in a minute, but also uh, you do have another weapon. I'll, show, I'll say you have uh, the spear. I don't know if it changes, like if it's just a spear. I know it's mainly been sword and spear that I've seen. I haven't seen any like, hammers or anything. So like, you can kind of cheese things with this, but I, I don't know. I, I just don't feel like I got the hang of this. And I've been trying to for a while. That's why it's taken me a while to put it, 
a video out on this game, but I'm not even sure I'm going to get there. I just don't... I don't know. I would like to without having to resort to... This is bad. Uh, okay. So, uh, ah, we can kill him. Yeah, I would like to without having to resort to using those kind of mods, I guess you would call them, at the start of a level. But we'll see. I will say... The second level uses a lot more of these two-level platforms. You can see this is actual, like, it's a second floor there. That changes up quite a bit, and you have to actually, I don't want to call it a puzzle your way out, but you have to at very least think about, okay, if I want this upgrade, how would I get to it? I got to find this piece and move it there. I do like that aspect. That happens way more in the second level. Okay. There we go. So now I got five potions after I use that. Um... We'll invest. Fun idea, great. Let's do one. So I got 17 of these. One thing I'm kind of confused about. I just uh, was able to unlock this recently. I don't know how to get it back. Maybe it'll just pop up and runs. I think that that would make sense. Like you're just unlocking this. Uh, I think Dead Cells does something very similar, where you're just unlocking the chance to use this in a run. Oh, let's see. So you can see there. Knowledge is what you're collecting inside of a run that you use for all these upgrades, uh, other than the starts of runs at the top. Um, eh, 45. And I can't actually see what a lot of these do. I can just see if I most of ones. But you can see, you know, it's kind of swords. Probably works like a sword, too. I'm gonna pet the chickens, of course. And this guy will, uh... Give you these. Let's see if I can upgrade. Yeah, I've not messed with the... It just seems like there's a lot of stuff to unlock. I'm not sure if it's one of those things that I'll eventually just get over... I'll do this one. The hump I'm in, currently. I'm not sure. We'll see. Oh, yeah. This always confuses me, is that this is not the route to take. You have to go back through here. That's where you start out. I'm not exactly really sure what the reason of that is. Like, if you can't go back through the level and just grind it out, I'm not sure. I think it's something I can mess with eventually, but hey, you're not here for that, so let's go to the next area. It was pretty slow on Game Pass for a little bit there until uh, Loot River released, and I forget what else. Um, some other title released around the same time. Might just been Rogue Legacy, too. Uh, let me know if you all be interested in seeing, uh, I might just do it because it's been a while since I put out any videos of uh, just some other games I've been playing recently that aren't necessarily Game Pass games. It might very well be eventually, but as it stands currently, I might very well just do a video on them because I've been playing other stuff recently. And I've kind of hit a stall point with uh, my next video, but hopefully I'll get back to this one again. You can see how much more damage that guy takes. I hate those guys. Okay. Let's do, uh... Mm. Let's do health. Okay, so these guys kind of have that spear, but they also have a... Attack, okay. So, look, I like this one. Um, but all of these are good, so I'm actually not going to... take it. <clears throat> I didn't really think about that, because when I was looking at upgrades... I'm probably not going to, unless, other than Endurance, if I get something better than Endurance, I will, but probably won't actually switch these out. Okay, there you go. You saw I teleported behind him there. Got him. Let's see what's up here. So this guy will sell you stuff. I don't have a lot of money. I mean, this, is, this poisons you, but poison clot spawns. very weird. Okay. But you'd still take damage from that, so I don't know. Ooh! So yeah, you can see he's got that kind of attack. So maybe I should get better at parries? I don't know. I just have not been too successful in runs. I don't know what it is about this game. I want to get better at it, though. That's the thing I do, because I do... I have my problems with the combat, but it's nothing to put me off the game completely. And I do wish there was like you know a little bit more to it but i will say like for 
I haven't looked in this indie studio to see if they made a lot of games, but from what I know, this is like their first major, major release. So I'd love to see them uh, work on this more. Because I, I will say, you don't see us a lot in the indie space, but this would be a great first entry in a series. And uh, second entry could probably be very good if they just find more inventive ways to actually use these platforms. So uh, I haven't mentioned these guys. These guys kind of lock down platforms so you can't escape. I don't really use that aspect that much, so it's not that much of a difference to me, but I'm just happy that they don't attack you because I am not very good at avoiding attacks, especially this guy. I hate this guy. Can I get him? Got him. That, that, that. Okay. So I can go uh, up or down. I guess we'll go up. I'm not a huge fan of the spear, though. I really am not. It doesn't do a ton of damage, and. Whoa. Oh, I gotta get out of there. Oh. Okay. Oh, bad spot. Bad spot. Okay. Use help. That's the thing. There is uh, there is a one item that will respawn you after you die and give you like 50% health, but it's not very common, and I have died out of nowhere so many times. Okay. I could just go. It's look like with this, I could go full on endurance and just keep on, but I like this ability and I like being able to teleport behind people. So you can see up there, I can't get up there. It's on the second floor. So I have to find another way to do that. But I'm sure if I go up here, we'll find our way there. Yeah, here we go. Oh, bad, bad spot. Oh. That's why I really like this item of teleporting me behind the enemy, just because it <laughs> just makes combat way quicker. <laughs> When it's just one-on-one, -on -one, I think you have to rely too much on parries, and I don't like that. Okay. That's very good. I would almost rather do that. Yeah. Because I dodge way more. Okay. So let's say we can go here. Okay. Got that. Um, oh, damn. I think it's still attacking me from there. Okay. Uh, I guess I can go here. Okay, this can't move. So, like, in this case, like, I might just very well not risk it. I don't even know how to get up there effectively. Yeah, we'll go. I'm not too worried about them. I'm not doing too great on health anyway. Damn. Ooh. Okay, let's level up. Um, I could do dex again, strength. Let's do that again. I think I do remember this part even. I think if you look at the bottom right, it shows you how long your run's currently taking. Um, I think for speedrun reasons, and also uh, you do get, at least in the first level, there is a, uh, if you complete it quick enough, you do get something. But I think the number above that is the seed number. If you ever played Minecraft, you're, whichever world you start. Oh, look, I just died. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. You see like how quick that was though? I feel like a lot of that was just how busy it gets around your character. Okay, 
We'll do one more. Quick one. What we'll do is use these two. I haven't used them in a while. Or I haven't used them all yet. Last place, fewer crossroads. That's a good one. So one thing is, you see there, just how that unequip pops up. Like, I don't know, man. Just, I really like that. A game that with this kind of aesthetic that does it well in my eyes is Loop Hero. Uh, I did a video on that at this point. It's been about a year and a half ago or a year. I, who knows? Everything blends together. We can do that one. Um, so this results in more enemies. Better armor now. That's a good one. I like that. Forehead's coming. So these do have drawbacks. Now I'm reading more into them. That's the only one I've thought of about so far. Just like, hey, kill me quicker, but give me better stuff. So I guess, yeah, we'll go up here. There he is saying that dumb thing again. And listen, I love Spider-Man as much as anyone else. Uh, maybe not as much as some people, but... Or at least the Sam Raimi ones. But I don't, I don't need that. I don't need any more of that in my life. it off Got it. so uh, I'll show this now the thing to the left on this platform is a fire trap Whoa. it will basically set fire to any platforms or at least in this first level I will say and I like this aspect I like I like fires man I like fires man what can I say charm of hurt here, there's that. Health is, a, you take a small, but each attack has a small chance to fully heal you. This isn't going to be a super long run anyway, so might as well just do it. So you can see there, whenever I hit an enemy, minus one. Whoop! Okay, yeah, that's, that's, I like that way better. And those blue orbs that pop out, those are the knowledge that you use for actual upgrades. Let's see. So this here, you can kind of see, I'm at a standstill. I can't move. There's no way to move this past those to move it through, so I'll have to go this way. This doesn't happen that often, this first level. But it does happen. So we'll just have to go this way now. Oh, what happened to him? So that thing I bought last level, it meant that when I died with it on, all of my stats were random when I started this, which luckily, these are all 10. I don't know if they actually will randomize it and make it lower, uh, but might as well just bump up that shrink some. Do that there. Perfect. Bad. Bad. See how, oh, it's so hard to avoid those guys. There is a lock-on that I don't use anywhere near enough as I probably should have. That's probably my main thing holding me back. It, you can kind of see it there. It looks the same way as Dark Souls. It's just... For some reason, I think during the tutorial, I missed that prompt. And I just don't... I just forget I have it. Here, here. Bad. Oh, that killed me. Well, there that's another <laughs> run. Uh, so whenever I spawn again, my knowledge will be gone, and that'll be it. I think that's a good time to stop this. I This is going to be a shorter one, but I'll say for two runs, you can move through this game pretty quick. I, I, 
I want to play more of this. I want to beat it. I want to delve more into this. It's just I feel like I'm at this point where it's just I don't know exactly what to do. I feel like I'm missing mechanic almost, but I know I'm not. I think I just need more patience. I think I just need maybe I'm missing a strategy with the platforms. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe eventually with Game Pass games, you never know if, hey, you're going to return to this or not. Okay, so you do keep your knowledge on a new run. That is good. I just noticed. So you see there, I got nine knowledge. So that's good. You can kind of see when I talk to these people here, like just that text just doesn't... I just don't like the way it looks. I just don't. But you can pet the chicken. I will say there is... I did make it to the second level once, and there's a way to get there, but I don't remember how. What's this? Ah, who knows. But yeah, this is Loot River. Um, I would recommend it. I am um, still going to keep on beating my head against it, you know, I think, but I do like it. It is, uh, at the very least, interesting. Um, it's not the typical just 2D roguelike. So if you're looking for a new roguelike, check this out. Uh, hopefully this video will help you decide whether or not you want to check it out or not. But join me next time. Uh, I've got a couple more videos planned for Game Pass. I've been behind, but i got to play some more games. I'm thinking about doing a uh, Halo Infinite Season 2 video. Uh, <laughs> the season's been kind of a train wreck, so waiting a little bit on that one's probably been for the best but we'll see uh, i'm sure you'll see that one upcoming soon but yeah if there's any other games you want to see me cover game pass games or games in general let me know uh don't forget to like subscribe if you like this video and uh yeah i will see you all next time